Lady Walker Show. Howdy, 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 and more howdy to you. Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker and my beloved peeps. I have another Jim Dandy of a show in store for you. Okay, she's back. Who? Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Kathy Amos. She's back as well as guest hosting is Jackie Amos as well. And they are going to be talking about the upcoming event on September the 8th. It's a fashion show. How about that? Now, Jackie Amos is one of the fierce and fabulous models as well as me, myself, and I. Uh-huh. I am one of the models. How about that? Anywho, beloved, if you can, come out. Come out and enjoy this fashion show, which is September the 8th. They are going to talk about it. They are going to give you all the pregnant information that you need to attend, as well as if you want to be a vendor or sponsor the event, the information will be given to you. Now, I believe that when it is in the power of your hand to do so, to help someone else up in their endeavors, okay? Help someone else in their dreams when you can, okay? If it's in your power to do so, do it. Because many of us can do so in so many ways. So without further ado, beloved, Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Kathy Amos, and my guest host is Jackie Amos. Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline Amos and I am here with Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Ms. Kathy Amos, welcome. Welcome, thank welcome. you, thank you, thank you, Jackie. It is so awesome to be here today. I'm so excited about what we're going to be talking about, and I'm excited about the fashion show and all that great stuff that's coming up. It's, it's, it's just a wonderful time to be living. Well, I'm <laughs> excited because, you know, we watch pageants on television, yeah. right? Everyone yeah. sits yeah. around on Saturday evening, Saturday nights, waiting for these pageants. And so to know that we have a Mrs. our Mrs. Mississippi is a black woman. You know, you know, what's exciting to me is to see myself at, and I say at this age, being who I dreamed of being when I was a little girl, which lets me know that God still answers prayers. Yes. You know, the prayers that when we pray, Lord, I want to be this when we right. were 10 years yeah, old, right. and here I am now, you know. Uh, of a season age, I won't say my age, but of a season age, and I'm here walking a platform right. with Mrs. Mississippi headed to the nationals for the Mrs. Black America pageant. Well, you know, I learned that it was okay to say my age just a few years ago when I hit that 50 mark. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And so it's like, you know, I, I think I think that's okay now. And I, I'm right. actually good at it too. I'm yeah. good with it. You know, I'm good with it. Okay. very transparent right. with my age. Right. And I can say, you know, my age is 55, but uh, I'm in such a wonderful season right. of my life to be uh, afforded the opportunity right. to wear this crown and display the beauty of the Lord. I say that, I say it with grace. Uh, and represent my state uh, right. and doing all the wonderful things that I've been doing over the years for my community. Now I get, I get a chance to do it statewide. So That's this, awesome. So to get to this national stage, you had to start. Where, where, where did your journey begin? Can you tell us a little bit about your journey and where, where it all began? Well, at the beginning of the year, I think it was maybe February, uh, we got a um, call from a good friend who had nominated us for 
the Mr. and Mrs. Black America pageant. And so your husband's a part of this? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, okay. It's the Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs., okay. Yes, and so uh, because this is a new pageant, they're looking for couples in every state. And instead okay. of doing a like a nationwide right. pageant for it, they were doing state to state. Okay. And so we were nominated by a friend in uh, Louisiana okay. And uh, the executive director called us and uh, talked with us, interviewed us over the phone, right. and uh, they, she had already heard a lot of wonderful things about what we had been doing in the community. So we prayed about it, and I really saw the Lord as to what would be my assignment if I did this at this season of my life. Right. Right. You know, what, what is it that I'm supposed, supposed to be to doing? Be and I think that for everybody who has an assignment or is called to mm -hmm. something, they need to know what the assignment right. entails. Yes. Right. So that, that uh, put me in a place of posture, just praying and mm -hmm. seeking God's face. And so once I got a piece about it, we let her know, yeah, we're, we're on board. We will accept the title of Mr. and Mrs. Mississippi. So there was a pageant? Yeah, well, it was actually a coronation in Orlando, Florida on March 23rd. Okay. Uh, a beautiful coronation by the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Black America pageant. Okay. Uh, it was also a retreat where we got the opportunity to go to the Holy Land and, and visit there. And okay. we got the opportunity to renew our vows. And they did all of this well, for exactly. the contestants. So it was just a wonderful uh, retreat mm -hmm. that, they, that they celebrated us and mm -hmm. then gave us crowned us with the title and sash and the crown and his scepter, of course, <laughs> right. he had a scepter. Right. Uh, so it was just a beautiful thing at that time. Uh, since then, we've been practicing on uh, our platforms and we've been out in the community doing uh, wonderful things uh, to uh, bless the people in our community. So your activities in the community, can you elaborate, let, tell us a little bit about what, what it is, that the, the different um, you know the different things that you're doing whether they're with children um, let us tell us a little bit about and how someone can can reach you honestly to, uh, to get involved and help you because I think that that is a, a large part of uh, the disconnect mm -hmm. we have you guys are working and you're in the community and there are other people that are doing probably something similar mm -hmm. But I think together, yes, partnership you know, we're, we're is better awesome. together, we're stronger together in mm -hmm. numbers. Absolutely. That, that this would be, this is something that I think we're missing in mm -hmm. our community, especially our black community. I believe, I, I absolutely agree. Well, you know, a few years ago, we uh, put together something for our city mm -hmm. called Blessing Canton Week. Mm -hmm. And for okay. the entire week, we uh, celebrate our community. We do lunches in the daytime, okay. right in the courtyard right. square. Right. Uh, we have our speakers from our community, the superintendents, um, the, the headmasters, the mayor, all of them come and just share words of encouragement or what the city needs to know about what's going, what's going on. on. Right. And they get a chance to take away free lunch. So now we get a chance to invite others to let us come to their city and set up the same thing. Uh, we also do the Empowering Progressive Women's Association where okay. I'm the founding president and we have an inaugural ball every year uh, we get a chance to honor 12 amazing women uh, that have done notable things in the community. Uh, we get a chance to honor them from the state level, from our governor, uh, our, their mayors, and from EPWA. And it's just an honor. That event is actually coming up. Uh, on this is, this is a, a, an annual it's event? It's an annual thing. Both okay. of these events are annual and, okay. things. Uh, we have something called the Uniform Clothes Closet. It came from Blessing Ken, where we are starting to set up clothes closets I, in I our schools. Yes. Yeah, we're excited yeah. about doing that, and uh, we want to be able to uh, put closed closets in other schools. Once we get ours, all of ours filled, we want to take it into other communities because I think it's a wonderful thing where our public schools can't always afford, right. uh, our children can't always afford uniforms. Uh, so we want to be able to definitely put those clauses in schools so that you have don't the have support. them. So you all have the support of the school district to do this? We do. I, um, in Jackson, um, my high school, we used to have a closet, mm -hmm. and they made us stop it. So oh, wow. just to hear you say that, so um, we're not. Yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. And we're gonna. We're gonna. Let yes, me know if you need it, my I help. Will, I will because mm -hmm. it, it was important. Mm -hmm. And clothes, uh, jackets, sweaters. Yeah. You know, you know, children need those things, mm -hmm. and we look. My children are small. 
You know, I mean, they're they're older now. They're not. They aren't small. Yeah. So we look, and it's just it's you you see these where we're mi what we're missing in the community, and you want to be a part of it. Right. And so people need to. I'm going to get with you on that one, okay? Because yeah. we have to get that back. Yeah. That's going. But um, as as we as we move on and we talk a little bit more, um, I want to I want you to be able to tell us uh, exactly where you see yourself from here. You're about to, to hit this national stage, mm -hmm. and I want you to you know to kind of give us a little bit about what you think. As soon as um, we come back, we're going to come back. At, we're going to take this break, and I want you to, to we're going to get back in with that one. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Ooh. All right. We'll be back. You what? That was great. I I enjoyed it. Okay, I enjoyed it. I enjoy listening to Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Kathy Amos and Jackie Amos. I really enjoyed the conversation. Have you learned anything as of yet? Good. Hopefully, you will participate. Okay, now we are going to be joined again by these two beautiful, fabulous women. Check it out. And we're back with Mrs. Kathy Amos, Mrs. Mississippi 2019. Earlier in the uh, first segment, we were talking about, we were about to get into your, your journey and then, you know, where are we going to go from here? So tell, tell us, where do you go from here? Well, Jackie, me, Joe Amos, and Mississippi are off to the Nationals. Mm -hmm. The National happens October 16th through the 20th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And, uh, we have several things that will take place. I have a private meeting with the judges. Uh, to It's a question air interview type um, session. Uh, we have the on stage interview where they ask questions, the judges ask questions. And then of course the long beautiful evening gown. All of these are judged and then the community things that we've done in the community. So we get a chance to uh, present a, a slideshow of everything that we've done in the course of our reigning and present that to uh, the national judges. So you have to package it, you get mm -hmm. it all together, mm -hmm. and there's a presentation. Yes. And how many, so are there, uh, how many other states are involved? In, uh, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's about 12 other states okay. that have uh, that have come okay. aboard. It may be more, but I, I'm going to say uh, safely there are 12. There are 12. Mm -hmm. All right. So you said Joe's coming with you. Yes, but he, I'll have to do all the work. Oh. Of course, you know, and this is what is, we do, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's going to be looking good in the background, but mm -hmm. I will have to actually do the stage work. Okay. Yeah. You have to do stage work. Stage work, the and interview and all that good stuff. Your gown, you have your gown. Uh, as a matter of fact, the gown is being made by our own Mississippi, Lauren Nicole Sinclair. Uh -huh. I know her. Yes, yeah. she's going to be designing the, the gown and okay. we're really excited about okay. wearing her design. I'm, I'm going to also have uh, one outfit made by my tailor. Okay. Uh, who's also our assistant pastor at our okay. church. So I'm, I'm excited about wearing her. And we kind of created something to put together. So I'm excited about that. See? I may do a magnolia dress. You oh, know, okay. we are the magnolia state. Right, we are, we are. <laughs> so do you take hair and makeup with you or do they have it there? What it, what? Actually, I'm going to, I've been training myself to okay. do my own makeup. <laughs> uh, I've been watching videos, so right. I'm going to be prepared to do my own. I don't okay. want anybody in my space except me. Gotcha. My, I'm going to see if I can get probably my daughter, mm -hmm. who's a hairstylist, to do my hair before I leave. But of course, uh, I want to do my own How makeup. Many do you have? Do you all have? Oh, do you really want me to tell you? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. together we have 15 children. Okay. Uh, I don't even know how many girls and how many boys, <laughs> but we do have 15 children and I want to say about 32 grandchildren okay. and one on the way. One will actually be delivered on Thursday. So, okay, so I'm behind. I only have one grandchild. <laughs> so I'm going to say that, well, congratulations. That, now, that is, if that's not blending, I don't know what it is, right? Yes, we have a wonderfully blended family, and I tell yeah, everybody we have family. doctors, that's nurses. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, we have uh, m uh, military yeah. children, right. teachers, uh, you name it, they're in our family. So, so, so to get to that point, um, we are actually... I am pleased and proud to be a part of something that um, that you have um, that you've created that you're de that you've developed 
uh, in this fierce and fabulous fashion show. Ooh, tell, I am let's so, talk about that. Let's talk I about that. So I'm excited so too. Like I really up. am. I'm excited I am too. so fired up because yes. this is just not a regular fashion show. Right. This fashion show is coming with women of excellence, women that hold power in the community, women that are prestigious, uh, they know who they are. We're not, we're not dealing with uh, women who are just coming out, you know, but these women, right. they know. We've been here a while. Right, <laughs> they are seasoned right. uh, 40s and 50s mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. And for, to have you guys, you Jackie, mm -hmm. you know, Lady Walker, yes. and so many of the other ladies that are, uh, we're gonna just yeah. kind of give their names a okay. shout out. Oh yes, because yeah, I that. want let's I want that. those of you that are out there watching this to support these ladies. They are on fire and they are ready to rock the runway. <laughs> so they are Tracy Ammons, Fentry Draper, Sarah Hutchinson, Lady J Juanita Johnson, Valeria Sims Griffin, Tracy Green Brown, Eliza Garcia, Lady Walker. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kimberly Rome, Tracy Wells Harmon, Stephanie Moore, Sharon Day, Lynette Sutler, Sylvia Milton is our runway coach, mm -hmm. and of course, last but not least, Miss Jackie Amos. Yeah, yay. So yes, <laughs> I am, and there's gonna be a send-off party as well, so we're not just gonna do the fashion show, we're gonna do a send-off party so that those that want to wish us well wishes and uh, maybe sign our book. Uh, we take pictures with them before we leave for nationals. Right. That you know, We're gonna do things like that. It's gonna be exciting. Mm -hmm. um, our first meeting together that mm -hmm. we met, uh, when we met, listening to everyone. Um, I knew, I, you know, several of us already know, you know each yeah. other, mm -hmm. but um, I think we realized, we, well, I guess we hadn't realized exactly how much we do yeah. Right? Because it's just something that we do. Yeah. You yeah. know, they're, they're just things that we do. It's who we are. Uh, and, and to be able to, to be at the same table. You know what, Jackie? A know? mixture of women of the cloth, ministers yes. and pastors yes. that are going to be yes. walking the runway, yes. entrepreneurs, yes. you know, teachers, educators, mm -hmm. nurses. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's awesome. A combination of a flavor that's coming to the runway to rock it. And, and it's, you know, when you think <laughs> about it, I'm sure, I know for me, I thought that time was gone. Mm -hmm, I've been mm -hmm. there, done that, yes, right? And you yes, keep going. Yes. But just to know that, hey, I can still do this, yeah. you know? I you may not be it. the, <laughs> you know, the 18 year old I was before, but it's fun. Yeah. It's fun to be able to, and, and the encouragement. Oh yeah, it is. Kathy, I couldn't just to be around that much uh, uh, the positive, the energy mm -hmm. um, that we have with this group is amazing. It's amazing. But we would not all be together if it were not for you. Well, you so, know what? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm prophesying this into existence. Mm -hmm. After I come back with the title of Mrs. Black America, that's right. we can rock it again next we year. We will, <laughs> that's right, that's right. And yeah. it's just, you know, just, just to be able to support each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's something that we don't do enough. I try my very best, right. but you know, like, there is no I in team, you know? Right. So mm -hmm. I try to, I always try to, I consider every group that I'm with is a team. Yeah. Um, when I'm training, uh, w regardless of what I'm training, whether it's poll managers, whether I'm training candidates, whether I'm training children, whether I'm teaching, whether mm -hmm. I'm, I'm uh, uh, teaching swimming, yeah. we're a team, Right. you know? Um, and so we, we can't do it. It's not something that you can do alone. Yeah. You know, um, you and your husband, you're a team. Yeah, absolutely. You're a team. And I think that that is a, as important um, a, a key. I think that's the key mm -hmm. to, uh, to a lot of things that, um, that are going on now. People are, have just uh, individualized themselves and they've separated themselves from life. But when we get back, we're gonna talk a little bit about this, this fashion show. Um, where it's going to be, the, the venue, yeah. um, and, and, and just how much fun it's going to be. Yeah, right? it's, going to be a, it's going to be a blast. Just how much fun it's going mm -hmm. to be. So we'll be right back, okay? okay? All right, we'll be back in a second. My guest today is Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Kathy Amos. She is joined by 
Jackie Amos, who is one of the fierce, I think it fierce, and fabulous models. And this will be taking place September the 8th, which is on a Sunday. Mark your calendar to be there. Or if you can't be there, donate. If you are a vendor, you're looking for a place to set up, there you go right there. If you want to sponsor the event, you can do that. There are many ways that you can uh, help out, okay? So anywho, we are going to continue the conversation with these two women. We're gonna, thank you, we're gonna welcome you back. And uh, again, we are here with Mrs. Kathy Amos. Um, our very own Mrs. Mississippi 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we took, before you left for the break, we were talking, we were about to talk about the fashion show. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about the fashion show, where it's going to be held, um, and just the excitement behind it. I know you got vendors coming. We've, yeah. got, we've got a lot, we, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Well, we're looking, we're still looking for sponsors, okay. uh, those that will sponsor us for the venue mm -hmm. and some of the things that we need to get done, uh, mm -hmm. the food wise and all of that. So we're looking for sponsors out there that will support us okay. to make this a great event. But we do need vendors, uh, any kind of vendor that really uh, speaks to the heart of women, right. makeup, uh, clothes, you know, accessories, right. mm -hmm. health, finances, uh, any vendors out there that okay. can contribute to uh, any of those areas or if you have a question about whether or not you can be a vendor you would definitely want to contact me at Mr. and Mrs. MS 2019 that's Mr. and the word spelled out A-N-D Mrs. MS 2019 at gmail.com and just ask if you know if my business is a good fit for the fashion show. I saw um, a very good friend of mine mm -hmm. that's going to be a part of, of the program, and her name is Pam Comfort. Tell us yes. what, what is what will Pam what will be her duties? Well, Pam is not. She's just a great all she around is. girl. She I really mean, is. Everybody loves Pam yes. Comfort. Yes, we do. Um, but she is going to be our co-host. So mm -hmm. her and Miss uh, Mrs. Uh, Ambassador, National Ambassador for the Mrs. Black America okay. pageant, will actually be teaming up together okay. to do the show together. Uh, Pam is also going to bring to the table her new uh, release, yes. Mississippi Beautiful. Yes. So she will share that song um, during the time mm -hmm. where we're on our intermission or whatever, but people really need to hear that song because Mississippi really is a beautiful place. Pam is an amazing yes. uh, woman. Yes. She really is. I've known her for quite some time. Uh, and, and for her to bring, because it's a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a beautiful song. The governor yeah. uh, has endorsed it. Yes. Um, I believe she has her own day now. Yes, she does. Uh, so, I mean. That's a great accomplishment. It is, mm -hmm. it is. So uh, just to have her supporting this event and then you supporting her, this yes. is, that's that, that's, that's, what, that's yes. what we're sitting here talking about. Teamwork you know, just, makes the dream work. It really, mm -hmm. it, it does, it really does. Um, how can we get tickets? Um, are there tickets to be sold? You have VIP sections, what, how do we? Yes, mm -hmm. we do have VIP tickets and mm -hmm. the tickets can be sold, uh, purchased at Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. uh, they can also be purchased uh, by cash apping, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. and Mrs. No, let me scratch that. Okay. Mr. Mrs. MS. Okay, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mrs. MS, that's the cash Dollar app. Dollar sign, uh -huh. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mrs. MS. Okay. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have so many ways of doing things yes, now. Yes. Yes. So many ways and, of doing and, things and, 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 and they can also uh, email Mr. and Mrs. MS2019 at gmail.com. And this is on a yeah. Sunday. This is a Sunday evening? Sunday evening at 6 o'clock at The Place, The Place uh, in Ridgeland, Mississippi on, I think it's Harbor Crossing mm -hmm. Point. Right. Um, 720 Harbor Crossing, Crossing Point. Point. That's the place. I mean, everyone needs to come out. We need you all to come out on a Sunday evening. You'll leave church, go get something to eat. We're, we're gonna have a blast. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to have a, a, a good time. And I think, I don't think that there's any other way that, uh, any better way that we can show our support for Mrs. Mississippi uh, 2019 and, and give her a good send off. We wanna yeah. make sure that we send you off uh, and with yeah. all the confidence and all the blessings you know um, that that we have, it, it, and we 
we, we need to, I believe, at some point, uh, let people know that it is okay to say, we are going to bless you. Yeah. It is okay to say that mm -hmm. this, you, this is anointed, mm -hmm. this event, um, and yes, I believe that we were all we were all in agreement mm -hmm. that um, because it is it's what we felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is we not did. something that um, that w that you're just you, that you just decided. Hey, I, I want to have an event. I don't have anything else mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You have a purpose. Yeah. And I think we all have our purpose. Um, and I, I truly believe that when you, the message that you gave us that day, um, I think every last one of us left there with a, I'm serious, with newfound, like goals. Yeah. Like we thought we had goals. We thought we had aspirations. Yeah. Um, and, and, and just the idea, because I know for a fact I've sat and I've just written out just different things that I'd like to see mm -hmm. me, my, me do mm -hmm. or accomplish. And so, um, I, I just, I think we'll just take it one day at a time. Yeah, um, it can happen. It, but, but this idea, this idea, did, you didn't just wake up with it. I did not. You I did it, It's, you know, modeling, because I have a modeling background mm -hmm. as well. Uh, this, this idea was Holy Spirit inspired. See. Because I would usually go after the younger group. Right. You know, they're vulnerable, mm -hmm. they want to hit the wrong way. Right. But the Lord said, get the 40, to 59 yeah, year come old find us, women. Please. <laughs> I was like, okay. And so I just put it out there. Uh -huh. I just made that clarion call on social media where everybody can get blessed if you know how to use it right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, you guys just came in. You just began to come in and answer the call. And I looked at my I, phone and I was like, call who? I, 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 <laughs> I like, honestly, okay. I, uh, see, God wouldn't let you miss it. <laughs> no, I was like, huh? <laughs> I really honestly believe that the women that answered the call yeah. to be models in this fashion yeah. show heard God yeah. because this event is for women that believe yeah. in one another, believe in supporting, believe in the things that God has put together. You definitely have that group though, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I know that there, uh, there, some anointing is going down that runway. And some women are going to be inspired. They're going to be encouraged when they leave that right. place. Women that thought they didn't have it, right. they're going to say, yes. I got it. Yes. I got this. Right. I got you this. know, because they need to see that there are women out there that says, my time is still now. It's not past, but I'm still living in my moment. And that's what we need to think every day. I'm in the moment. Right. I'm not past tense. Right. I'm, I'm now. now. I'm mm -hmm. now. I'm, I'm now. now. That's I'm a now. good. And when, when I thought, when I, I know I'm now, right? <laughs> no, and when I thought about, you know, the young ladies that, that I invited, you know, mm -hmm. with me, um, I, I, thought, I, saw, I thought about it and I picked up the phone. And I said, hey, I need you to meet me someplace. Mm -hmm. There's something that I think you would really be interested in and, um, and that you would love being a part of. Mm -hmm. And one of them was a younger lady, the other, the other lady I've known all my life. And they have um, been a blessing. And they Absolute are. Blessing. And so that's, those are the type of things that, that, um, that I think that, that you have inspired. Yeah. You know, so I'm telling you, Miss Kathy, Amos, you are an inspiration. Thank you. Uh, and it is so exciting. It's so exciting to be a part of, of, of you, of your journey. Um, and, and just meeting you, and I believe we may be related at some point. Or, yeah. From what I'm, what I'm, what I'm we're gathering. We're gonna do some more but investigations, we're gonna, we're gonna, but we're yeah, gonna, gonna call it for now. Right? Yeah. We're gonna call it right we're now. We're gonna call it right now. Yeah, we are related somewhere. So <laughs> September, September eighth, yes, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, twenty nineteen, twenty nineteen at six o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. at the place in Ridgeland, okay. Mississippi. Tickets are thirty five dollars. Okay. In advance, forty dollars at the door. VIP tickets, I think, are $50 online at Eventbrite or... Or contact one of the models. Yes, contact. They have paper tickets, yeah. so contact there's no excuse. Models. Support our cause. Send us off like Mississippians do with a bang and with the blessings. Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Ms. Kathy Amos. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank joining you. us today. And I personally look forward to being a part of your journey. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, tuning in and we will all Very see well, you later. Talk to you later. Thank you.